by computer vision and later AI, what we do, we follow every object and make sure we save this tracking throughout the game. The technology that is used for gathering the tactical data is it started with computer vision, classic computer vision, transformed to a more AI based, but still in the AI, in the, in the deep learning uh, area of video and, and pictures. Let's look first at the company that you did for the data analytics. How it looks like the product and, and the, who are the people that buy this product? So the basic product of uh, SportQ was, uh, and it still is, it's, uh, it's still functional and working, uh, not under, under the stats, which is the company that purchased Pixelot pair of cameras that cover the field from the side and, and you have a coverage of each pixel of, of the frame of the field and by computer vision and later AI, what we do, we follow every object and make sure we save this tracking throughout the game and we know individually each layer where it was, we captured the, the ball and out of this data we can extract the basic as distance running and speed and acceleration, things like that. And the more advanced is a question like in basketball, what is the percentage of the of, of three-point shot relative to the distance of the guard from you? So, so the question becomes so many that you don't need really know what to ask and then you start to use AI in order to ask the right question. This is the main, the main product. You use it for teams that want to improve their uh, athlete performance or athletic performance, teams that want to monitor the, the tactical formation and things like that. It's uh, used by leagues that want to uh, share uh, some common uh, level of tact tactical data between the teams. It's used by broadcasters that want to enhance the broadcasting uh, and it's used by uh, data companies like Stats and Sportradars and others that, that sell data of sports to other uh, entities. Who is really if you like the most interested or the first one that you would go to, is, is the sport team, is the league, is the data company or is, or is the uh, I mean, the best is to go to a league because then you close a league, you don't need to handle each team separately and, and this is I think the, the main objective, but a league is complicated. A league has many strings that pull it to, to different direction and it's very hard to capture a league. Sometimes the way to capture his league, a league is going through the teams. So for example, in the NBA, what we did is we start going to the league. The league had a lot of issues and we didn't manage to, to break in. So what we did, we let go to a team by team. So the first year we had uh, five teams. Second year we had uh, 10 teams. And the third year we had uh, 15 teams. And then it was already a big mass that the league could not say no and sign the contract with the sport. Is there a difference between the technologies used to get the basic statistics and then the one that is used to answer more questions? How the technology works in this case? Yeah, so, so I think it's quite different technologies. The technology that is used for gathering the, the tactical data is it started with computer vision, classic computer vision, transformed to a more AI base, but still in the AI in the in the deep learning uh, area of video and, and pictures. In order to do tracking, in order to do identification, in order to do uh, estimation, pose estimation, and things like that. But once you have the data, you are going more to the area of statistics and big data environment, and then it might be closer to analyze uh, huge logs than closer to uh, to analyze video because at the end it's a lot of data that you need to extract information out of it. One of the things we did, we tried to make this data more available and companies become uh, experts of analyzing this data. In MIT there is a Sloan conference once a year that is dealing with sports analytics and this conference become quite addicted to the sport view data because it was a unique data that they can build layers of information, a layer of research on top of it. And a few companies that are now successful started by using the SpotU data and analyze the more higher level of analytic out of it. What is the complexities added by, you know, labeling, data labeling in a situation where you have so many sports, so many games to this type of product? And how do you measure quality over time? We are dealing with many different sports and every sport is different. But worse than this, we are for the same sport, we have so many different 
level of sport. If we're talking about soccer, it can be kids playing on a small field and it can be FC Barcelona that we have a partner a partnership with them and they use in our system. So you can imagine how different it looks between those two. Of course, the, the basic thing is to have enough samples for different kinds of sports. But also I think it's very important in the production area, put uh, some uh, tools in order to measure quality in a production, not only by testing, but in the production area itself. And, and also it's important to go to the basic and listen and hear your client.